Hello, welcome to chapter 29, part 2, Bootstrap Model Methods and Events, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn like how to work with Bootstrap Model Methods and Events. Right now, let us understand that very clearly. And in the last session, we learned like how to build a Bootstrap Model and here is a demo of it. Now when I click on this login button, I am getting a model window which consists of login form. And again when I click on this close button, the model window disappears. And how did we achieve this functionality of model? It's very simple. We achieved this functionality of model by using these data dash attributes present here. You can observe here the data target and data toggle. These two data dash attributes are responsible for opening the model window. In the sense, when I click on this login button, we are getting this model window and who are, who are the guys responsible for that? Uh, these two, they are responsible for opening the model window. They are data dash attributes, data target and data toggle. Similarly, when I open this login click on this login button and open this model window and we have a close button inside that model window itself. Suppose when I click on this close, the model window is disappearing and how did we achieve that functionality? And we achieved that functionality by setting this data dash attribute to model. Okay, and data dismiss is equal to model. This is the guy who is doing that, who is closing that model window. So as of now in this session, what we are going to learn is we are going to achieve this functionality. Okay, without the help of these data dash attributes. So how can I achieve that? And that can be achieved using this model window function present here. Okay, this model window function is directly provided by the model plugin. So instead of using the data dash attributes, we will use the model function to achieve the model functionality. So what I'll do right now in Visual Studio, I'll re remove in the code, I'll remove this data dash attributes present here, data target and data toggle. I'll remove this and Similarly, I have to remove this data dismiss is equal to model. Okay, control S. When I go back and when I refresh, you can observe when I click on the login button, the model window is not appearing. Okay, now what I, how can I achieve that? The functionality of model window, it's very simple. We can achieve that using this model method or model function. And it takes two parameters show as well as hide. What show does it shows the model and hide it shows the hides the model. So how can we achieve this? It's very simple. What I need to do is first, okay, I need to set uh, ID to this button. Okay, I'll set the ID as show model. Okay, and I'll come down and to this button, what I'll do is I'll set an ID and I'll name it as, okay, ID model. Okay, let me scroll up. This is show model to this button and to this button we have set it as ID model. Now what is my objective is, okay, I need to write a bit of JavaScript code and what the JavaScript code has to do is, now when I click on this button, okay, this button has to identify the model window and it has to make it appear in the sense and it has to show that model window. How do I do that? It's very simple. What I need to do is to this button, okay, login button, I need to at attach a click event. Okay, what that click event does is that click event, it opens the model window. So how do I do that? I need to write a bit of JavaScript code. What I'll do, I'll scroll to at the end of my body tag and here I'll create a script tag. Okay. To the script, I'll set the type as text. Sorry, it's a uh, type text bar JavaScript. And now let me write a bit of jQuery code right now. What I'll do is dollar document okay, dot ready. Okay, call a function. And what this function has to do is, okay, now let me explain you these two lines of this li single line of code. What this single line of code is doing going to do is, when the web page is loaded, it's going to call a function. What that function has to do is, it has to identify this button first. Okay, how do I identify this button? This button can be identified by its ID. The ID is show model. So, what I need to write in my jQuery is, I need to make use of the ID selector. Okay, the ID selector is Ash. Okay, Ash. And what is the ID of the button? Let me go and check it first. ID of the button is show model. You can observe here. This is the ID of the button. Button. Let me copy this. Control C. And coming back to my jQuery code, I'll paste it here. 
Now what's happening is on the web on the web page load, this function is identifying this button, and to this button we have to attach a click event. Okay. What this click event has to do is it has to call a function. Okay. What function is it? What what is the function it's going to do? Okay. On clicking of that button, it has to open the model window. In the sense, it has to open this this model window and how do how can we identify this window it's a model window right and it's a due how can we identify this due it can be identified by id the id is login model control c let me copy that and let me come and tell like okay on clicking of that okay on clicking of that it has to identify okay this model window by this id after that it has to call the model okay method with the parameter telling like show okay and that's what we achieved right now okay let me explain me this piece of code again very clearly what i'm trying to write in this jquery code is i'm trying to tell you like um, when the web page is loaded identify the button which is having the id show model so it identify this button after identifying what we are doing is we are identify we are attaching one event the event is click event what that click event has to do is it has to identify um, the element with this id the element with this id is my model window and after identifying it what it has to do is it has to call that model function and it has to show the model window and that's what i'm doing right now now when i do control s when i go back when i refresh to this button i have attached the click event so when i click on this you can observe how beautifully it rendered the model window okay that's what the beauty of model function and we achieved it without using the data dash attributes and we used right here the model function and the parameter we passed it is um the parameter we passed it is show okay and right now uh, let me go back and let me refresh okay let me click on this okay this uh, model window is appearing now you can you should observe very carefully now when i click on the close it's not closing right now we have not attached any event uh, any method to it the method is uh, model dot hide we have to attach that method to this close button then only it will get closed now let me go and write to code for that it's very simple what i need to do is i, I need to copy this code control v uh, it has to identify this button is responsible for closing the you can observe here right now this button is responsible for closing the model window and the id of this is hide model so i have to change it here like hide model okay here i have to change it to hide what it has to hide it has to hide the model window okay now when i go back and when i refresh control s when i click on this login it is showing the model okay and again when i click on the close it is disappearing the model and that's what we achieved this using this model function and it uh, it takes two parameters show and hide show to show the model and hide to hide the model and that's what we achieved right now and now we are left with some of the events okay the events include show.bs model shown.bs model and hide.bs model and hidden.bs model what this events going to do and you can observe very carefully this show.bs model it is called immediately after the model show method is called so and this shown.bs model it is called immediately after the model is completely shown so now what i'll do is i'll go and attach these events this is very simple what i need to do is okay uh now when i click on this button immediately i have to get i have to get a pop up message telling like um the model window or model is about is ready to uh ready to be shown okay i have to get a message like as soon as i click on this button i should get a alert alert message telling like the model is uh, is ready to execute or it's ready to be shown okay how do i execute that how do i get that alert window by using these events so what i'll do right now let me jump back into my visual studio i'll write a bit of code okay what i need to do i need to identify that login model dot on okay now i have to call a event that is show dot bs dot model okay and i have to call a function what that function has to do is it has to print a uh, it has to bring a alert message telling like alert message telling like uh, model is ready 
ready to show model is ready to show otherwise let me take it like model is ready to display model is ready to be is ready to be displayed and this looks good this sentence and again I have to take one more method that is login method and this is shown and it tells like it has already shown model is displayed controllers now when I go back and when I refresh you can observe as soon as I click on the login button I'll get alert message telling like model is ready to be displayed when I click OK and it is still like model is displayed okay and this is what we achieved right now and let me go and write uh, attach some of the other events that is height.bs model and hidden.bs model now what I'll do um, I'll copy the same thing control C control V and let me change this to hide and here also model is ready to be hidden and let me change it to hidden and let me change here like model is hidden control S when I go back and when I refresh you can observe I'll get a pop-up message telling like model is ready to be displayed and again I'll get like model is displayed and the model is displaying right now and when I click on close I'll get a message like model is ready to be hidden and I'll get a message like model is hidden also okay how did we achieve that we achieved that okay we using these events that is show BS model shown BS model hide BS model and hidden BS model okay and that's what we did right now okay I hope you understood this uh, model methods and events very clearly and let me jump back to presentation and this is we also saw a beautiful demo and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Lang Pro training you can also like our Facebook page visiting these URLs. You can also follow us on Twitter. For further references, you can visit our websites. And we are on LinkedIn too. Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.